This is one of the cornerstones of the struggle of the founding fathers of the PAC. And 61 years later, and after years of infighting, the party says it's time to go back to its roots. We have conscientized our people about the importance of land. In 1994, when the PAC said, land first, everything will follow, everybody laughed at us. But today, everybody realized the importance of the land as the important source of social upliftment, as an important source of economic freedom. Now, now that they've realized, now that they are at this particular stage, they need to, rather than sitting around their townships and their villages as unemployed people, they need to begin to make sure that the land that is available is utilized. All of this because of the state of affairs in the Sharpeville area. We have not really made progress in terms of the social condition our people find themselves in, the economic conditions our people find themselves in, despite the sacrifices our people made over a period of time. We know, although this was the turning point of our history in our struggle, our people continue to die in sacrificing for the liberation that we are being free which we have achieved in 1994, but the social condition of our people are continuing to be very bad. Over the years, factional battles over leadership plagued the party, with some of the battles affecting its representation in Parliament. On the ground, uh, because uh, inside you talk of a branch, you talk of a region, you talk of a provincial, you talk of the structures. Yeah. Do we have that difficulty? So I'll tell no, we do not have that. But then outside, it's true that we might be perceived, and this perception is a reality. It's up to us to go and deal with it. What we have, um, our message to our leaders at the local, regional, and provincial level, is that correct this thing, work with the community, explain what's happening. Mulotto concedes that post-1994, the PAC was often caught with its pants down. This, while the lives of the people of Sharpeville remain unchanged. He says perhaps now is a time to reflect and remember why all of these people died. For News from Africa on Channel 405, I'm Lynn Damnisi in Sharpeville.